Hey, welcome to the shop. This is my drill press and it works great, but I'm gonna try a little mod today that I think will make it easier to use and also a little bit safer. My goal is to improve the work holding on the table here on the drill press. Now I have a vise that's great for holding small parts in place. However, I end up holding the vise itself with one hand when I drill, which to some extent that might defeat the purpose. Also, it doesn't work for holding large or odd shaped items that I might need to drill a hole in. There are clamps that attach to these slots, but they're kind of a pain because you need a nut from the bottom. It'd be much nicer to use something like this clamp on my welding table to hold things in place in the drill press. So I thought of making a fixture plate, similar to this one I use for TIG welding or this one that's positioned on my mill. And when I did a little Googling, Fireball Tool actually makes one. However, it's definitely overkill for what I need. So what if I put holes directly here into this plate? That might be a good solution for me. I could put the clamp right in the holes and hold things in place just using my existing clamps. I'll take a look at the bottom of the table here to see if this is gonna be feasible. And there are some ribs that I'll wanna avoid, but there are pretty good flat spots I should be able to drill through. And it's a little bit over a quarter inch thick, so it should work. Now I need to stay about three quarters of an inch inboard of the outside edge to hold things in place. And I'm getting a little bit creative to mark that radius here on the table. I'm just using this ruler as a spacer to keep myself a little ways away from the ribs next to those slots. And I'll mark the angular position for each of these holes just based on that. And it should be pretty good for what I need. I'm only gonna center punch the first hole until I know that this is actually gonna work. I'll set my drill press to 500 RPM, which I think should work pretty well with the 5 8 bit on cast iron. This is such a hassle changing these belts around. In fact, I'm thinking about setting it up with a variable speed similar to this setup that I put together for a belt grinder build that you'll see coming out in the next couple weeks on the channel. But for today, I'm just going to have to go old school. This is a 5 16 inch drill bit for a pilot hole, and I'm going to expand it out with a 5 8 inch drill bit, and that should give me a more true hole size. If I had a 5 8 inch reamer, that would be an even better option. I'm going to add a little bit of cutting fluid to help everything go smoothly, and I'm ready to drill. You'll notice as I drill here, the cast iron drills quite a bit differently than you'd see steel or aluminum. You get these fine chips coming off here, but notice there's a little bit of a curl to a lot of them, and that's a good sign. That means that my bit is remaining engaged as I drill the hole. Now I can move to the 5 8 inch drill bit, and these are 135 degree bits I'm using. Notice compared with a standard bit you might get at a big box store, it has a much longer cut edge than the 135 degree bit which is great to go fast through softer materials but for this harder material it's nice to have that 135 degree bit it really does work quite a bit better now that things are locked in place I can start drilling that larger hole but here see I'm just getting a bunch of fine filings it might be just fine um, however I reduced my speed anyway so that I can make sure that I remain engaged with the hole as I drill and I get those chips with a small curl to them Midway through, the hole is looking pretty good, and I'll finish it all the way through. I want to test it out before I go any further and make sure this is actually going to work. So I clamp it in place, and we're all systems go right here. I'll line up just by rotating the table around so I maintain that same radius, and then I'm ready to just repeat the process over and over again until I get all of the holes drilled. Now you'll notice my drill press is wobbling around a little bit as I work on it. That's because the leveling feet are set up for the spot where it's supposed to be, not where I have it uh, sitting for this video. I missed my marker line just a little bit, and I can fix that really quickly just with a rag and some acetone. The exact position doesn't matter very much because I'm not going to use these as any kind of measuring datum. It's just for the clamps themselves. A quick deburr makes the hole really nice and gives me that edge so I don't catch my finger on it later on. And I'll test this out with that scrap piece of material that we had before. Well, I'm pretty pumped about how that turned out. It works great. Uh, sometimes the simplest little projects can be the most useful. Well, thanks for tuning in today. If you liked this or learned something, let me know by hitting that thumbs up below. And we'll see you next time.